So I was working with a, a customer and uh, basically teaching how to uh, basically create this uh, model of this road. You can see I've got some, some stuff we've already done. And as I was going through this, I thought this might be interesting to share of how I was uh, detailing up uh, this intersection here. Basically, the reason I'm doing it this way is because of the data that I'm provided. I'm kind of limited on what was provided to me. Um, we have, you know, typically the cross sections that are given to us from, uh, you know, the, the set of uh, PDF plans or documents. So we've entered those in and we've got these stored cross sections in Business Center that we can, um, you know, we can see here. And we're going to use those as uh, part of the surface. Then we've got this PDF that we've imported in the Business Center and, and geo-referenced it into our design to kind of see where these uh, these spots are, which is actually uh, correlates to this um, this PDF, which is the staking uh, project here. Okay, so it's got all the uh, basically staking details for this this corner over here, um, and we've done this on on the rest of the project in other areas, right? Because we want to detail up, like here, you can see we've detailed up this median, so we've you know used some line work to kind of get the uh, curb line in and then elevated it accordingly. Um, but I just wanted to show you kind of just because I think it's neat on how the business center handles this line string and how relatively easy actually to detail something like this is. And you can see that everything in purple has got no elevation. It's my, just my 2D line work that I'm working with. Uh, this view here is the cross section view. So those are the stored cross sections. You can see that I can you know, jump from one to the other. And, um, you know, so I'm going to start at this one. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to elevate this curb line uh, using this data and make sure that I tie through here um, and use the stakeout information and tie to the cross sections that were provided. So um, just kind of give you a little bit of background of, of what I'm doing here. So the first thing I need to do is you also notice is if we take a look here, if I turn off this this PDF you'll see that I have a, this curb line here, right? So let's turn that, uh, that PDF back on. And you'll see that it's, it's actually the bottom of the curb. If you look in our detail, we're only provided the top back of curb for an elevation and the gutter line for an elevation in our cross sections. And that came from our typical cross sections. We weren't really provided what the flow line was, but we were, were provided the CAD line that represents the bottom of the curb. Um, and as much as we tried, we couldn't get the data from the engineer um, properly, right? They wouldn't, it just, we went back and forth and you know, basically you know, we, we're just going to continue and we're going to build it with what we got. So it's, it's definitely possible uh, to do this. So I've got this, this curb line. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to offset that line. So I'm offsetting the line because I want to copy it to a layer called design break lines. And usually I would give this a name, I call it, you know, curb or back of curb. So, you know, TVC. The uh, offset in this case is going to be, uh, it's 0.58 distance. That's the distance basically from that line that they have to the top back of curb, which will line up with this top back of curb in our typical cross section that we're trying to match. I'm going to offset it to the right. I don't care about the vertical right now. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. So basically, I've just created another line. And what I want to do is I want to break that line here. So because that line is selected, um, all I have to do is uh, basically I can close this command down, right click. I'm going to break that line. And you can see that I can break it. Um, I'm going to right click again, and I'm going to break it at the crossing line. So when I pick this line here, it picks up the distance of where that cross line or that, that uh, cross section breaks that line. We'll go ahead and break it right there. And you can see that it broke it at that particular spot. Now, because that's still selected, I'm just going to go up and delete it and get rid of it because I don't need it anymore. So I'm going to close that command. Now that I have the top back of curb, I can come in here and I can elevate this. So I'm just going to kind of turn this guy around a little bit so you can see. So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to go to edit. And you can see that it's I'm in the vertical mode and I can move my cursor where I want to put it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a vertical point at the end of that line. Now the elevation for the end of that line is going to come from this top back of curb. So 
because it's kind of hard to see where here that top back of curb is because it's pretty shallow of a, a break. I'm just going to grab it from the typical cross section. So when I click on here, it actually defines that alignment and it picks up or that uh, defines that elevation point and picks up that elevation for me there. Now I need to come down here and put in a point and it's actually on the PC of the curb. So that's number three. So I'm just picking that point. And then I'm going to refer to my stakeout sheet, which is my PDF, which I'm, it's on another screen here. I'm looking at it, but the elevation is uh, 3207. So what I'm doing here, I'll come back over here. Um, let's click in here. And what we're going to do, cancel that. We're going to add a vertical point at this location. And that elevation is going to be, like I said, 3207, 32.07. And we'll save that. And then the same thing is I want to put another point here where that cross section is. Cause again, I'm trying to match the design intent. So I'm going to say at station at crossing line, I'm going to pick that. It picks up that distance and then the elevation. What I need to do here is actually go to the next section, which is that one. And we'll come back in here. Um, let's, let's just pick it. Oops, let's cancel that. We picked the wrong elevation there. So we want that elevation to be the top back of curve here. So you kind of see that I'm, I'm matching up that particular point. And then we're gonna do another one over here where that cross section is. So I'm gonna add another vertical point. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna say station at crossing and grab that point and the elevation for that typical section. So I'm just gonna go previous again, which is there is going to be right there. So I'm gonna say uh, station cross section, stored cross section. Okay, oops, put that, make sure we're in elevation. All right, just gonna make sure you're highlighted under elevation, we're still under distance because we, we jumped around from view. So just gonna make sure you set focus properly. So now that we're, we're really kind of done with that, we can go back to this elevating this curb line here. So we do have some other points, this point F, which is right there. We'll grab that. It looks like the arrow is to the bottom of the curb, but it's actually, if you look at the sheet, it says top of curb. So um, I'm gonna come back up to top of curb elevation for F and that is 32.27. So let's come back in here and make sure I'm in the right spot. So let's go add another point I'm gonna pick there. 32.87 or 27, 32.27. So we'll do that one. And we'll do this one, which is H, 32.33. And save that one. And let's see, so we're coming around. We got a point here, which it looks like it's just some arbitrary point there. So we're just gonna get it right to the end of the arrow. All right, so we're just gonna pick that point there. And for what we're doing, it's probably, you know, acceptable. Um, that is going to be, let's see, number two is 3247. So 3247, pretty good right there, right? It kind of picked it, so we'll save that one. And then point number one is the end of this point right here. And point number one is uh, 3234. So we'll set that to uh, 34 and save that particular point. Now the end over here, we obviously are tying into an existing. So um, we do have an existing surface. So what I could do, you can see it actually wraps around. If I turn on my original ground surface, um, we do have surface elevation going all the way through over to there, you can see actually looks like it's uh, existing. So what we could do if we wanted to just to blend this in is uh, basically come down to this point here and uh, for the elevation, we're gonna right click and we can say from surface snap and that surface would be the original ground and the point would be here. So we're just gonna that daylighting it or tying it back into there. So um, let me just go ahead and do that if we wanted to. 
So it kind of gives you an idea how you can get that piece in. So then the next would be to do the same thing for the sidewalk. So the sidewalk is a little bit more detailed. Um, so I'm going to close this and I'm going to do similar, similar approach um, where I'm just going to take this line here and what I'll do is just uh, do the same thing. I'll offset that line and oops, pick that line. We'll offset it. We'll offset it zero. Again, all that's really doing is just copying it to that same layer. And I don't need to go all the way back with this. I can kind of keep it here if I wanted to. Um, but if we go back, let's say next, take it all the way back to here, then we can see we do have a, a sidewalk that we can tie into. So we can make sure that we tie in properly to that sidewalk. So we would just repeat that process, the same thing we did on that curb line all the way through here. Now for the bottom of curb that we have in here, you know, that's another basically offset command. So I'm just gonna pick this here and we'll go to offset and we're gonna offset it uh, to a two and a half foot curb, 2.5 and it's negative 0.33 is the actual offset to the edge of pavement. And let me make sure we go to that side, select apply. And now we have that line going through there. And we would do the same thing with the sidewalk. So we just repeat that process that we just did over through here. But um, the neat thing about this, you know, when you're doing this, when you right click, let's say I, I just go in and I'm just going to edit this one instead of, you know, going through the offset just to save a few minutes here. What's neat about this is I need to put a point there. Right, so it's asking me for a distance along the line. So the, again, where I think the, the neat little shortcuts is being able to right click and say station at crossing. So when I pick this line right here, it picks up where that distance is along that line. Um, and you just basically assign the elevation to the sheet here. So a little, little tedious work through here to get that detail, but when you get that detail in, it actually helps you build that model. And again, working with limited data like this, um, this is just one way to achieve it in a business center.